Well, let's move on to the next match, which I I got about a minute in on this one. A Chicago street fight between Chris Statlander and Willow Nightingale. You go first, because you told me that you thought that they had a wonderful effort here. I think this was the match of the night. I enjoyed this more than anything else on the entire show. That surprised me. I usually don't like these kind of matches. I usually don't like these kind of matches with the women. But Willow and Chris Statlander aren't like little waifs out there. They got some size to them. They look athletic. They can move. You believe they're women wrestlers. And they went out there and did a lot of the garbage stuff that other people do. And I think they did it better than some of the other people. There's the problem. You know, I'll put it this way. They did a better job, I think, in execution than Swerve and Adam Page doing all that well, crap that, later that's on. that's faint praise, but... I thought this was the best match of the show. The only surprise, I thought Willow probably should have won just because it would have gotten a big pop on a show where the fans were getting more and more deflated as it went on and they would leave ultra deflated. I thought Willow getting a win here would have been good. They followed that Osprey match, which was the biggest match of the night, it seemed like, for the fans there. And I thought, I thought they did a good job. I really enjoyed it. I was shocked that I enjoyed it as much as I did, but I did. Both girls, girls, I sound like you. Hey. Both, both women are really good. I, I wish they were somewhere else. That's like the ultimate compliment. I just wish they were somewhere else. They're really good. I will give them another compliment. If this had been a match with these two, I would have watched it. But I wasn't going to watch more garbage outlaw mud show wrestling now with women. Because why? Fucking why on this show with all the other garbage and all the other weapons and tables and chairs and lions and tigers and bears? The opening was Statlander swinging a chair at Willow, and Willow ducked it, and Statlander then put the chair down to turn around so Willow could shoulder tackle her. And within the first minute, Willow had been powerbombed through the announce desk, and Statlander had pulled a table out. <laughs> See, they didn't waste any time. I appreciate this. God damn And uh, again... As I was thinking, uh, I would have watched a regular match with these two, but this is ridiculous. And as I said that, or wrote that, Stadlander did a cannonball off the top rope where Willow was laying on a table on the floor, but Willow moved or tried to, and Statlander hit the table with her back and the back of Willow's head with her legs and nearly killed both of them. That looked like it was very painful for Statlander's tailbone. And uh, it, wasn't, yes. it wasn't just a cannonball. I mean, it was a flip. And uh, I mean, it could have given Nightingale a concussion at that speed and velocity. But the point is, yes, they did all this garbage wrestling stuff even better than the guys do. And that's the problem. See what I said before? Is that it depends on who's doing this shit as to whether they should even be doing it or not. And you can't have girl, and they're bleeding. Statlander's got color. And here came thumbtacks. The thumbtacks are ridiculous regardless. It's the stupidest thing ever, and I would fire anybody that even suggested it to me if I was still in the fucking business. So what kind of fucking morons are you? But to have not only a garbage, fake, phony match... But then to have the girls do it where it looks better than to get, well, this shit doesn't hurt anybody. No wonder these people are cheering for mayhem because they think it's all fake. Have you seen the idiots on Twitter talking about the shaved down chair again? Oh, from later in the night. Yes. Yeah. Like there's a thing called a shaved down chair. They shaved it down. What? You fucking Mark idiots. I think they gimmicked the goddamn screws on the side of the seat so that they would turn easier, so that the chair would flop around a little better. But nobody makes 10 chairs. Somebody said, Tony's a billionaire. He could afford a 10 chair, a folding chair made out of 10. 10 chair factory he could afford. That's what he'd have to afford because who makes folding <laughs> chairs made out of fucking tin? You 
fucking morons. So when the girls do this shit and they survive, it's even worse than when the guys do it. And it's garbage and it's overdone and it means nothing and it appeals to the lowest common denominator because when we saw street fights in the territory days, nobody was smart. So I was like, yeah, they're having a fucking fight. Now it's like, wait a minute, they are legitimately taking barbed wire or broken light tubes or whatever the fuck they're doing and cutting each other up with it on purpose. They're cooperating with that. What kind of fucking morons are these? That's where we're at these days. Did you see the dive off the stage or the uh, tackle off the stage? I skipped that, thankfully. That was one of the complaints I will make. If you're going to ask the person you're working with, are you okay? There's got to be a better way to disguise it as opposed to just leaning your head up, looking at them and saying, are you okay? No. It wasn't as overt as that, but I, I watched it and then I watched it again just to make sure. But, you know, they're not used to diving off the stage into the black nothingness that is the weird area that has no explanation for existing. But at least it covers up the fucking crash pad. That's right. Anyway, any further comments on the girls' garbage match? Uh, no, everyone should go out of their way to see it. Best match of the night. Okay, well, there you go. It, it, and I, I actually might agree. It might have been the best match of the night. But considering this night, 